Yo guys, iProMagix here today, and today we are back on Euro Truck Simulator. This is episode number two. So, as I was explaining in the last episode, the first episode I did record went wrong. So, this is what's happened. And since then we've leveled up, and now we are going to be taking our... Okay, right, sorry, that's me just being stupid. Right, we're going to do a delivery now. Five grand. That's in a rental. Ooh. Should we do one in a Scania, though? Oh, no, let's do this one. Let's move tractors. It's in a rental. I'm not a fan of rental lorries. Um, although, this one's not too bad looking. I like the wide screen. I like the big open fascia. Uh, it is currently like really late at night. Uh, we'll have our main lights on. And let's pull out and see what we can do. This Renault does feel really smooth though. I do like this lorry. Make sure we don't hit nothing. So. Got to make sure we know where we're going. So let's break. Have a look. Right, so we're literally just driving down one road. The whole journey and there's one fuel station at either end. So we'll see how much fuel the lorry's got. If it hasn't got enough, we'll pull in here, fill up. And we'll drive straight down and see what we can do. So. Right, what side? Oh yeah, we're in Sweden, so... make sure we do this properly so how much fuel we've got enough but I think I might just pull into that fuel station anyway uh, to make sure we do have enough fuel we don't even really need that mirror that's better I like the rent I like this rental it's really quite nice it's actually showing me a lot more I've got the front view mirror so I can see down in front of the vehicle and I've got my two side mirrors, which is really, really nice. Okay, I'm at max gear already. Let's drop down a few gears so we can gain some speed. So, yeah. Um, as I, how was I explaining about last episode? Um, can't remember. But what's going to be happening on the channel, guys, over the next few days is that there's going to be a variation of games coming out. I'm currently looking at the list for the next last week. There's Minecraft every single day on the channel, and that's with Speed Arts, which I've done. And you guys have actually smashed them. Like, one come out yesterday as I was recording this, and it's already got, like, 25 views. You guys are absolutely smashing it. So, right. This delivery is going to be probably one of the best deliveries I've done. Because now this is giving me a perspective of what Renault lorries look like. So when we eventually do have the amount of money we, in which we need to buy our first truck. It's going to either be, now I'm looking at it, probably be a Renault, a Scania, or a Merc. Right, I'm going to take these corners a bit wider. Uh, I had a comment in my other video of how I should how I should take these. Sorry, guys, that guy scared the living monkeys out of me. Don't hear. Yes, good comment, mate. I really appreciate. It. I can't remember your name at the moment. Uh, but whoever did comment that, you're an absolute genius. I really do appreciate that. This Renault lorry, I'm absolutely gobsmacked over. I've not, I've not liked a lorry like this in a long while. I like the wide perspective that you see with the wide windscreen. Uh, you get the third mirror in the middle. I'm sure you can actually take that off um, if need be, but I'm not going to. As that's an actual, actually a good feature for when you're stopping at a set of traffic lights. You can actually judge how far you need to be. Uh, right, let's pull it over. 
because we're coming up to a roundabout in a moment. Right. Start braking. Drop down a few gears. Let the glory start braking by itself. There we go. We use the main engine brake. Do it again. Right, there we go. Let's go round. Gotta make sure we don't hit this roundabout. Not doing too bad at taking roundabouts, it's just them corners I don't like. Right, so now I'm looking at it, we'll probably need to fill up the fuel. Uh, let's see, anyone that side? Coming over anyway. Nice. So we're not too far off of the delivery. We're about five hours, um, which we was... Oh my god, that was close. Which we was before. Um, but hopefully this delivery doesn't seem too long. Uh, I'm still trying to learn how to use this Renault. As Renault lorries are not my spec. I would normally run Scania's... Uh, or Mercs. But now once we're having a run in this lorry, it's actually not too bad. I like the interface, it's quite simple. I like the indicator noise. Uh, which is a big upside for me. If I don't like the indicator noise, there's no point in me driving a lorry. Uh, it's like the DAFs, they are so slow. I couldn't use a DAF indicator, it's like tick. Tock. Uh, right, engine off. Fill you up with fuel. Shouldn't take too long, really. Uh, as we don't have that much to fill. It's probably about $300. Oh, no, it's about five, $500. Damn. That's a lot of money. Uh, right, so that's the small lorry we're in. With the number plate DL35661. Ah, right, cool. Right, let's... Let us make this delivery now. We have the correct amount of fuel in the vehicle, um, which can cover, doesn't say, uh, diagnostics, uh, fuel tank a thousand mile. So this could take us a thousand mile now, and this delivery is, how many mile, forgot. This is 200 and 300 kilometers. So, it's about the same as a thousand mile. But I'm sure this is probably in kilometers though. So that could take me a thousand kilometers. Nice. I really like this Renault. Quite precise, like quite surprising. Um, a lot of people slag off Renault for their lorries uh, in the UK. As they're not very well built in the UK. Come on, mate. I've got to come over. Nice one. So, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Now, this delivery is going to be awesome. I really, really enjoy driving across country at night. Because it shows a lot more of the perspective in front of me now with this, this particular window. And it shows a lot more. I can see visually a lot more. And it's nice. I might be getting a track IR. I've been looking at, into them. Uh, I want to see how easy they are to set up. Because if they're really simple to set up, it would be quite nice for me to get a not bigger monitor. Like a 27 inch monitor. And I'll just have the one after that. If I'm getting a 27 inch, I'll just cut down to one monitor. Because my desk ain't big enough for like two and uh yeah it'd be nice to have track ir have to wear a hat or something every time you record because you have to clip onto something but it's worth it in the end of the day until i upgrade my setup which i'm going to be doing very 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 soon uh i'm looking into getting a new case uh i'm hoping to get a bigger ssd for my birthday uh, my solid state drive at the moment is, I think, 128, and I've got like 2 gig left on it, and it keeps crashing my computer. So, drop down a gear. Which would be, it would be nice if I could get a bigger SSD. I'd like a terabyte, but they're like a thousand pounds. I was like, nah, you're well alright. 
I like this road, it's really simple. One road from one part of the country to the other, no other attachments. I suppose if you break down down there, it's going to be quite bad. If you, like, your lorry breaks down or your car, you're pretty much screwed. Because there is nowhere for you to pull in unless this road here coming up on the left cuts into somewhere which they haven't added. Uh, this is Poland we are going to, I believe. Yeah, that would go down to a city, uh, which I'm presuming. Now, we're driving across Poland, which I'm, I'm a massive fan of Poland. I've, I would like to drive along there in real life. It's a very, very scenic country, as far as I've heard. Um, also, I'd like to go and see Auschwitz-Birkenau, which a lot of people would say, why would you like to go there? That's where millions of people died. But it's a part of our history, guys. No matter what you say, Auschwitz and Hitler's youth and running and all of that was still part of our history. I know people don't want it to be a part of our history, but it's something that's there for people to go and look at. A few of my friends that have been there and seen it, they've been like, that's a massive eye-opener to them and how big the actual situation was. Considering he killed, uh, I think it was 4 million Jews in that particular camp. And he had seven other camps based around Germany, Poland, and like all these other countries throughout the four-year period of the war. I find that really, really interesting. I'm really into my history and lorries. I want to know if this has got a tag lift. Oh, no, it doesn't. Boo. Renault, you need to up your game. Put tag lift. If, when you have tag lift, you can press U on your keyboard and it'll raise your middle wheel. Uh, if I can show you. Like you have... Normally, if you have a nice Renault lorry, you'll have three sets of wheels. One at the front and two just behind. And the second one normally lifts or the third one at the back. Uh, the third one's called a tag lift. The middle one's called a mid lift. I like tag lift. Because when you have the weight distributed on it properly, you can lift that up and instead of wasting rubber on that tyre, it saves a lot more fuel because you ain't pulling around extra weight. It's really nice. I really like this Renault. It's really weird. Reminds me of my work van that I drive. But my work... Well, I don't drive it. My colleagues do. But it's not a Renault. It's a Citroen. And it's like more or less identical inside. It's massive. It's really nice. I like this lorry be something I'll definitely purchase. If I was going to start doing this as a living like properly, as a delivery driver or a uh, lorry driver, I'd purchase a Renault. Because this one's got an automatic gearbox. And I'm only shifting it because I've put it in sequential shift. If I took it out, it would be in standard automatic mode. Which is quite nice. Quite simple. God, this feels like it's taking forever. How comes American truck deliveries are like really quick and this one feels like it takes for a like absolutely ages? Alright, we've got a sleeping bay coming up on their side. Train line. And now there's one coming up on our side for a sleep. We're not gonna go sleep because we don't need to. We have another three hours on the road. We're expecting to be there about two four forty five say two o'clock uh, three o'clock in the morning something like that on average if I keep around this speed we'll be there really really early uh, which is nice I like all the gauges I'm just on, under the steering wheel on the left hand side there's three clocks one is for air, uh, air temperature water temperature and fuel and they're all very 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 needed in this game um, as of the new updates that's going to be coming out soon, there is a new uh, uh, trailer lock-on. Like, when you back onto a trailer, it's going to waste more air. You're going to have to learn how to like back onto a trailer properly. This game is getting like something you will need a steering wheel for in the up-and-coming future. And same with American Truck. American Truck you can play with a keyboard and mouse, but it's horrible when you can't back onto a lorry. Or a lock, lock like back onto a trailer and lock in properly with your fifth wheel. And if you guys don't know what the fifth wheel is, I will show you uh, when we get to the next delivery in the next episode. Well, the fifth wheel is pretty much what it sounds like. Uh, when you reverse, you've got a massive block like a plate 
on the trailer, or on the truck, sorry, that hooks onto a locking pin on the trailer. And the trailer is uh, powered, like, by your back of your trailer, because there's an extended battery box that's on the back of the cabs normally. There's a train. Right, we need to slow down. Come on, lift up barriers, because I'm going to clear it. Go, 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 go. Oh, done that. Ever so close. I shouldn't have done that. I should have stopped. I could have shown you the fifth wheel then. Uh, right, we'll go this way. As we have to turn. Drop down a few gears. So we can start gaining some speed. We're about two hours out. So what we will do is just before... Do you know what? I'll show you it in a minute. Uh, pull in here. Oh, don't want to drop the trailer in a stupid spot. Right, so I will show you what the fifth wheel is. So I've disconnected the trailer and I'll just roll forward. Right, you see that massive grey plate in the middle? I'll roll forward a bit more. There we go. The massive grey plate there with that red pin on it. There. That's the fifth wheel connects to that nut in the middle of the trailer. So... As I reverse, that will literally slide into the fifth wheel. And once it's in, which it is, connects the trailer. And that is the fifth wheel. So, turn that off. So, you guys can't say I don't teach you nothing about lorries. And, uh... It's going to set us back until about 5am, which ain't a bad thing. Uh, the, 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 the delivery is not due until about 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning Wednesday anyway. So if we get there early, it's not going to be a bad thing. Uh, they were expecting it between 3.03 .03 and uh, 9.38 in the morning. So we'll get there about 5. It's not a sad delivery. Doing quite well, actually. Even though we did stop, we are actually building up a quite a lot of speed to get there already. But even though we do have another lorry that has just turned off behind us. Uh, we are about an hour and a half out. So guys, what do you think? What lorry should I choose for my career? Uh, I'm, I'm At the minute I'm looking at the Renault. The one we're driving. And seeing what they can actually do. If they can produce Renault, like Renaults like this really, really nice... I'll be all over it. The MAN, nah, they're all right. They've got the big mirror, uh, big windscreen, sorry, and a lot, a lot wider wing mirror, so I can see uh, wing mirror, wing, windscreen, windscreen, the big bit in the middle, the big bit of glass. Um, it's a lot nicer. It's a lot bigger. The cabs are a little bit bigger, like this one here is only just small enough for two people. Uh, but with the MANs, you could probably fit about three people in there at a push. But I'm not sure. This is not for sleeping, really. This is just for deliveries. I'm going to have to start indicating because we are coming into a town. God, this video feels like it's taking forever. These videos take longer to record than American Truck. Which is quite strange. Come on, go round. I don't like the indicator. That gets annoying after a while. Oh, I hit. I felt it. No damage. Good. Oh, I'll turn that off because I'll drive me insane. We've still got a little while to go around the corner. Wait, if I press F, does that little light go in? Oh, no. There's a light on the dashboard that I've just noticed. Uh, the one that looks like the Stormtrooper fly uh, Maduhiki. I can't remember the name of them. They look like cages, and there's one just to the right of the steering wheel um, that's on a button. Just above it looks like a hazard light. Uh, so when I press F on the dashboard next to the speed number, like the speed indicator, there's a triangle flashing. That's what the indicator button looks like, and that looks like it. So I was wondering if I pressed it, does that actually count as that going in? Which would be good if they added that as an animation. Come on, lorry. Come on, lorry. Yeah, you can speed up. If 
you guys know what song that is before I've actually started singing it. You guys are awesome and you're a bit you're a bit older than me. Or about the same age. Now I've got a song stuck in my head. Right, we'll wait for this traffic. Oh, this traffic's very busy. One second, guys. I'm getting called. Right, guys. Sorry about that. I am back. I was uh, getting asked what I wanted for my supper. This lorry is taking the mix. Sitting right up my japs, though. Someone's where I'm thinking. Is this light broke? Do you know what? I'm just going for it. Light seem broke. You can sit there and wait. I'm not. I have an hour to do this delivery. Right. Let's see how quick we can gain speed. This Renault was really nice. I think I might stick with the Renaults. Because they'll... After going away for a second and having a look again... Uh, let me turn them lights down. We'll have the front beams on. It's quite nice. Like, if I press K. Like, I want to see what J looks like. J, the light spread's really nice. Good. Nice. I'm not taking too long, neither. Lorries are quite nice. I want to see how much you can actually modify the Renaults. Um, if you can actually modify them a quite a bit, this will be an ideal lorry for me to fall in place with. Because uh, they're probably not that make that expensive. Uh, although I haven't found a Renault dealership yet. I've only found a Scania. God, this lorry is absolutely cane in it. There's a fuel stock there. Ah! Sorry guys, my door keeps banging. And my door handle broke. So I have to wedge the door handle up. And I have to like put all my weight on it to open it. So we're actually flying. Like 90 kilometers per hour. It said an hour a minute ago. Now we're on like 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this Renault or a Scania now. This, this is a major part of what I've fallen in love with now. The Renault, the Scania and the Mercedes-Benz Actros. I can't believe I've actually fallen in love with a Renault. I used to slate them massively. Right, stop braking because I will not slow down. <laughs> right, anyone coming? Nope. Right, so yeah, I think that's going to be our uh, lorry now, the Renaults, uh, which is going to take us a little while to get the money because uh, a default, uh, well, a normal Scanny is about 82 grand plus. So. By the time we get there, I'll probably think we would unlock another type of, uh, like, right, like level. So, I'm going to say we'll probably be about level 10, level 20, by the time we purchase our own lorry, which wouldn't be a bad thing. As, then I can actually have the choice of what lorry I want. Because if I do buy a, a Scania or a... Uh, Mercedes Actros I can actually if I do buy the basic one then all I have to do is customize it so I'm actually going in here quite fast should be slowing down quite a lot really this this gear at the minute can get to 90 mile or 90 kilometers per hour and that orange truck to drove past was an Actros that's the lorry I'd go for or the Volvo FH16 I don't know yet, guys. This this Renault is, like, number one at the moment. Oh, curbed it. Need to make sure I can slow down quite quick, because we are in the city now. Right, let's put a foot down. Let's go through the lights. I won't slow him down for them. These ones up front, I will. Because I've got a lot of slow down speed now. This is an act. Oh, that's a FH16. Blue. A uh, red. Damn. That, car that lorry is so nice in red. 
I've only ever seen them in blue or a greeny blue. So we'll stay in this gear and let's just have a slow roll down to the final checkpoint in which we can load this in and we'll be done. What? Two seconds, Mum. Right, guys, so we're literally going to pull up in here, and that will be the end of the episode. So, right, let's do this quickly because I have to go and help do dinner. Let's go. Literally, indicator on. Quick as I can. We'll throw her in here. That's probably damaged. No. Hasn't. No. There we go, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.